right, hello everybody. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Darius. I am the maid of honor. Um, so I went to nursing school with Sarah. And if I was not stressed out about any one thing about the wedding, it was about giving this speech. Because as soon as she asked me to be her maid of honor, she was like, you gonna get ready to give a speech? And I'm like, ugh, public speaking is not my thing, but we gonna make it happen. <laughs> All right, so of course I just said we went to nursing school together, we were study buddies, we got to know each other and shared some details about our life with each other and there were so many times that I would sit around and think, man, I wish I knew a good guy to introduce Sarah to. She's not missing anything, Sarah's just beautiful, she's smart, you know, I just wanted her to be with somebody great. And then one day, she said she was bringing Greg over to meet me. And I was, <laughs> I was so excited, but I, had, I was in defense mode because, you know, like a sister, I wanted to protect her. So this dude comes over. Now, mind you, I got a newborn baby, and I'm all got my postpartum belly and, you know, <laughs> smelling like breast milk, you know. This dude comes in my house, props his feet up on my couch, and I'm looking like, who is he? Like, what? I had even told my husband, I was like, because my husband wasn't home when he first got there. I said, you know, he put his feet on my couch. But uh, <laughs> through conversation, I've learned that Greg is so cool. He's a super cool dude. Um, he's so sweet and loving towards Sarah. He's supportive. I see how you guys make each other better. I see how you guys compliment each other. You're definitely the yin to her yang. Um, so to you guys, I just want to say congratulations again. I want to say everything that Marie said was in my speech to say <laughs> communication, prayer, talk to each other, and whenever you guys are going through whatever, because I'm not gonna lie, marriage is hard work. It's, you know, it requires a lot of time, a lot of prayer, a lot of communication, once again. Um, so whenever you guys are going through whatever, just remember this day and what brought you guys to this day. I love you guys. Hashtag relationship goals. <laughs>
reaching out to the one that you love, may you find strength. Standing side by side, may you find partnership. Sharing responsibilities and chores, may you find quality and ease. Helping each other in daily life and works, may you find fulfillment. Loving each other through dark and light times, may you find power. Look deeply into one another's eyes. You can come closer. <laughs> now look deeply into one another's eyes and promise to always see each other through the eyes of love. As you hold hands, may you warmly hold each other's hearts. I wish for you is that you build an extraordinary life together and may your marriage be all that you two choose it to be. Now do you, Urquhart, welcome Sarah as your wife, offering her your love and encouragement, your trust and respect, together as you create your future? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, Sarah, welcome Urquhart as your husband, offering him your love and encouragement, your trust and respect, as together you create your future? I do. All right, she does. Urquhart, repeat after me. I'll take thee, Sarah. I, <clears throat> I take thee, Sarah. For my lawfully wedded wife. My lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor, for poor, in sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, as long, as long, as we both shall live, as we both shall live. Sarah, I take thee, Urquhart. I take thee, Urquhart. For my lawfully wedded husband. For my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness, in sickness and, in health, and in health, as long as, long as, we, both shall live. as we both shall live. With this ring, with this ring I, take you I take you to be my husband. To be my husband. All right, and as you place this ring on her finger, with this ring, with this ring, I take you, I take you to be my wife. To be my wife. Today, they both have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. They both have demonstrated and are demonstrating that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. They have chosen to allow God to be at the center of their marriage. It is now my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. I want you to turn to everyone. It is now my pleasure to present Mr. and Mrs. McMillan. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to our reception area. You will find your table numbers on the centerpiece you are welcome into the reception area. Thank you.
the McMillan Show. And now, we would ask that you all rise to your feet as we welcome in Mr. and Mrs. Sarah and Greg McMillan. Somebody scream for them. Our bride and groom, Sarah and Greg, to go to the dance floor. We're gonna have a little fun with them. Each of you remove a shoe and exchange that shoe. We're gonna ask you guys a couple of questions to see how well you know each other. Who is more likely to burn the house down trying to cook something? Wait a minute. I don't think you should have put that shoe up, sir. That means that <laughs> you won't be eating much. Thank you all, eat some food, drink some juice, and let the party continue. 